It is important to always preheat your humidified holding cabinet about one hour prior to use. Never put product into a cool cabinet, as internal food temperatures will drop quickly. Turn on the power switch to allow the unit to heat. The unit asks, push to proof on the display. If you want to use the unit as a proofer, press the humidity button. Otherwise, after 10 seconds, the unit will heat normally. Fill the water pan up to the fill mark and shut the doors to allow the unit to heat. To view the actual temperature of the cabinet, press the info button two times. When the temperature reaches the set point, the light near the temperature button turns off. When the humidity reaches set point, the light near the humidity button then turns off. After one hour, the temperature stabilizes and the cabinet is ready to load. As product is loaded, start the corresponding hold timer. A best practice is to count racks from the top down and use the corresponding numbered hold timer for each rack in the cabinet. This way there is no confusion on which timer applies to which rack. Once the hold timer for a rack reaches zero, the time when food is best to serve has also expired. Typically, any remaining food on that rack would get discarded However, always check with store policy on what actions to take with remaining food on that rack. Remember to check the water level in the water pan throughout the day and add water to the fill mark as necessary. If the display reads water level low, this means too much of the water in the water pan has evaporated. Humidity production will stop until the water pan is filled. 